The Master's Mysteries, Tales of Magical Mastery, Episode 89. What's wrong with you three? Let's continue the story. After the three fools entered the cave, Liao Fengi and Xiaodi began a mode of mutual slaughter. The black fox naturally saw that the problem was with the three fools, but when he questioned them with a dark face, those three guys just laughed and didn't answer anything. And they suddenly launched an attack against Black Fox, contrary to their usual behavior. Black Fox didn't take these three people seriously at all. He was about to go up and knock them down, but suddenly he heard an ominous wind behind him. He turned around and saw that Leo Fengi had made a move against him from behind. Since Leo Fengi temporarily lost his sanity, Black Fox didn't hesitate to take action. He had to deal with him first, or else he would be vulnerable from both sides. But just as he had pushed Liao Fengi back, Xiaodi, holding a dagger, also attacked him from behind. Black Fox was startled and broke into a cold sweat. Black Fox couldn't use excessive force on a girl, as it wouldn't look good if he injured her. He had no choice but to grab Xiaodi's wrist. He raised his hand, twisted off the dagger, and then used force to dislocate Xiaodi's arm. While Xiaodi was down, the three fools also rushed forward. Dealing with the consecutive attacks kept Black Fox busy. However, Black Fox had no mercy for these three. After knocking the second one senseless with a punch, he grabbed him and threw him out. He spun in place, and gathering all his strength, flung the second one right onto the third one who was attacking him. At the same time, his right fist was ready. This punch had tremendous force, sending both of them flying. At this moment, the big fool had just reached close to Black Fox and didn't even know how to dodge. He ended up getting hit directly. These three were far inferior to Xiaodi and Liao Fengi and didn't have the ability to get up again. Who's there? Come out. Black Fox had already figured it out. There must be a hidden hand behind these three fools, not far from here. It turns out to be a fox spirit. No wonder my fairy magic had no effect on you. As Black Fox shouted, a colorful dressed guy emerged from the darkness not far away. A kindred spirit? Huh. This yellow demon used a natural scent to confuse opponents and while others fell for it. Black Fox was also skilled in illusion techniques, so this scent meant nothing to him. It turns out to be a yellow demon. No wonder it stinks so much. Black Fox had figured out that this flashy guy was a yellow demon, and his gaze became sharp. Child's play. Watch me. Suddenly, a powerful aura was released from Black Fox. It's unclear what kind of magic Black Fox used, but an even more pungent odor filled the air, awakening the people lying on the ground who began to regain their senses. What happened? What's going on? I don't know. The illusionary aura from the Yellow Demon was indeed formidable. After waking up, several people couldn't remember anything that had happened just now. Am I injured? My arm hurts too. It hurts so much. Who the hell hit us? While they had forgotten the events, the injuries on their bodies were real. Especially for Liao Fengi, whose large wound from Xiaodi's attack was still bleeding. Villain, you attacked while we were asleep. It was that neither male nor female guy who did it. Black Fox had successfully shifted the blame. If everyone found out they had harmed each other, it wouldn't be good for their unity. Any other tricks up your sleeve? Feel free to use them. The guy that Black Fox had framed didn't bother to explain and instead snorted like a sissy. As long as it's not makeup, we're not like you. Hearing that they were ambushed by a neither male nor female individual, everyone's faces turned frosty and they were eager to advance. Pervert, I've had enough of you a long time ago, especially Leo Fengi. With Black Fox as the leader in Xiaodi, and Leo Fengi backing him up, he felt confident now. You three are looking for trouble, 
The yellow demon had also endured these three guys for a long time and now, with a gentle sweep of his paper fan and a smirk on his face. His large colorful clothes billowed in the wind as his body danced around like he was doing a performance. Then he flicked his folding fan, and with the sound of the wind, it shot towards the three of them. At first, the three fools didn't pay much attention to the paper fan. But as it got closer and closer, they'd finally realized that it wasn't made of paper at all. It was made of hardened steel. However, by the time they thought of dodging, they simply didn't have the ability to do so. They could only lower their heads, but in an instant, blood splattered everywhere. Big Fool, seeing half of a head being sliced open, blood spraying everywhere, even Leo Fengi and the others were stunned. Did a life just end like this? Big Brother, what was even more shocking was for Second Fool and Third Fool, was Big Brother really going to die right in front of them like this? It hurts so much, my hair, stop complaining. This hairstyle looks cool and refreshing. Fortunately, Big Fool had thick, upright hair. So what got cut was just his hair and a layer of scalp. His life was saved and everyone breathed a sigh of relief. No, this won't give off the aura of mountain bandits. I'll go deal with him, however. It seemed that this yellow demon couldn't be underestimated. The Liadong Three Fools were definitely not a match for him. You should rest for a bit. I'm itching for a fight. Black Fox stood in front of Leo Fengi. If this yellow demon used illusion techniques again during the fight, he might be at a disadvantage. So Black Fox gripped the Spirit Fox Sword, and in a single step, charged toward the Yellow Demon. You think you're all that with a long sword, overestimating yourself. Black Fox had good attack power, but the Yellow Demon seemed to not pay him any attention. With a twist of his hands, he split his folding fan into two. The Spirit Fox Sword was incredibly sharp, radiating a bone-chilling cold, However, the yellow demon directly blocked it with the two thin fan blades. But what happened next left Black Fox dumbfounded. The spirit fox sword didn't pierce through the fan blades and into the enemy's chest. It was blocked. Black Fox couldn't understand it, and he was caught off guard. The yellow demon seized the opportunity, and the two folding fans turned into sharp blades, slashing at Black Fox from both left and right. Black Fox couldn't believe that these paper-thin fans were so incredibly sharp and fast. His clothes were immediately cut open in two places, narrowly avoiding injury to his skin. Seeing that the enemy's versatile weapons were formidable, Black Fox didn't dare to underestimate him. He lifted his foot and launched an attack toward the opponent. Then he swiftly turned around for a sword strike, but he hadn't anticipated that his opponent's skills were not inferior to his. After dodging a kick, his sword hadn't reached the target yet, and the yellow demon had vanished. Looking up, he saw the yellow demon gracefully landing about five or six meters away, just like a dancing butterfly. How about that, Black Fox? After landing, he struck a seductive pose and spoke with a tone and posture full of irresistible charm. At that moment, everyone was left dumbfounded. Then the atmosphere suddenly changed, and the scene became quite intense. None of you will survive. The yellow demon, who considered himself as beautiful as a celestial being, was clearly angered by everyone's reactions. He forcefully threw the folding fan in his hand forward, rapidly aiming it at Black Fox, while he himself lunged forward. As Black Fox barely dodged the fan right in front of him, he felt a strong gust of wind behind his head. He quickly turned around, raising his sword to block. The fan's attack was blocked, and Black Fox swiftly twisted his body, bringing the Spirit Fox sword down again. However, it made a loud clang, and the Yellow Demon remained unharmed. This fight was becoming frustrating ever since he obtained the Spirit Fox sword. Black Fox had felt like there was nothing the sword couldn't cut through, but today, something was different. 
Black Fox, be careful. As he was getting into the fight, he suddenly heard Liu Fengi shouting from behind, unable to divert his attention. Black Fox glanced back. He saw that the folding fan, which had been thrown earlier, was now flying back towards him. It turned out that this thing could fly back, too. Could Black Fox avoid it this time?